For there is great satisfaction in speaking the truth, and hard work bring, brings blessings back to you. If you want to reign in life, don't sit on your hands. Instead, work hard at doing what's right, for the slacker will end up working to make someone else succeed. A passive person won't even complete a project, but a passionate person makes good use of his time, wealth, and energy. Abundant life is discovered by walking in righteousness, but holding on to your anger leads to death. Don't hold on to your anger. Have God take be have God, Father God, please take away my anger. Take away my anger out of my heart. Change my heart. Put a new heart in me. And and say this to, to God your Lord. And, and 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 if you want to reign, don't be a slacker. And because instead work hard at doing what's right. Right today, I'm gonna focus on God's tummy to do what's right. God's tummy to focus on cleaning around the house today because I know that what's right that's is the right thing. That is what's the right thing for me to do right this minute, right today, in this time of season. Today, I'm gonna focus on cleaning around the house, and you need to. Focus on cleaning around the house. The the two be because because your house need to be orderly and prepped for what's coming. And 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 you need and and I had a dream last night about Jesus about about. Well, sparkle. I saw a sparkle on my bed. That's sort of like a vision, or, or just like something for me to see. Walking outside and leaving in a dream airplane, airport flying. And, and Jesus is waiting for, for a sparkle to happen in the earth. And and. I think Jesus is waiting. Jesus is waiting for for a sparkle in you. When you come to realize there there's a sparkle, that's God's giving getting your attention. There's a sparkle in your life. There's a sparkle in your room, in in your room. I bless whatever you're doing. I bless that you would. That you would understand what God has doing in your life. Read Proverbs twelve today, and get get the nuggets from from Proverbs twelve today for your life. Today it doesn't matter Psalms twelve or Proverbs twelve. It means Proverbs twelve for today, and I suggest you should read Proverbs twelve for for today to know what God's saying to you today in your own life. And I pray that pray that you would that you would just open up a door to let God in in your life. And I just pray that whatever you're doing today, I just know that you should be cleaning around the house or find things to do in your own household. And and if you're living in an apartment or, or a house with someone, and and I just think that that you should. Cleaning around the house today because you know that's the right thing to do for today and for this time of preparation because of the things are. And I suggest that you should read Proverbs 12 today. And I just pray that you would just, just have God in your life and have God. Do everything in your life, in the situation in your life. And I just pray God will help you through everything. And God will make sure everything will get done in your life. And God, don't forget to hit like button, share, subscribe. Comment, like button, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit like button, share, subscribe. And have a nice day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.